it's Terry Jeanette with Tapping Flamingo. Look what I found the other day. My daughter-in-law and I were shopping at a place pretty close to where we live called Antique Alley. And um, there are some antique shops there, but they're mostly kind of junk shops with stuff like this type stuff in there. But we we're just kind of looking around and I saw these salt and pepper shakers and I just could not turn them down. Um, when I bought these, we were in the middle of trying to sell our house still in Kentucky. And uh, we were in a small apartment down here in Louisiana. And uh, I did not have a place to put them. So I wrapped them up and put them in a drawer. And I'd forgotten about them until the other day when I was unpacking. I came across these little critters. It was a nice surprise. But anyway, had to share that with you. Uh, my sisters and my mother and I are getting ready to go on a mother-daughter trip. Uh, we've elected to go on a Disney cruise. And as we've been doing some investigating, I have found some fun, interesting facts about uh, cruising on Disney. Now, we've uh, cruised on other cruise lines before, but never Disney. So this is a new thing for us. One of the things um, that they do on a Disney cruise is they have a pirate party. Uh, in my last video, I talked a little bit about that and my costume. And actually today, I'm wearing my little dress that I bought for my pirate costume. I think it's going to do really well for, for what I bought it for. Uh, another thing that I found out is fish extenders. What are fish extenders? That's what I thought when I first heard of fish extenders. So my youngest sister and I, we did a little bit of investigating and on the outside of each stateroom is a plaque, big round plaque, and it has a fish on it and it has a little hook. And what people do is they hang bags on the hook. Hence you have fish extender because it extends from the fish that's hanging there. So why do people hang bags uh, in outside their stateroom? Because some people get into little groups and they exchange little gifts. Now you don't have to do it. My youngest sister and I, we thought this would be fun to do. Not so much for the stuff that we get, but for the stuff that we're going to give. They're not going to, it's not anything big and expensive. You got to remember a lot of these people fly. And so whatever you do give, um, it needs to be something that they can pack away in their suitcases. A lot of these groups that they put together may have 30 people in them. I know last check we had mm, 40, I think we had like 12 or 13 cabins. I have a feeling they're going to be uh, splitting us into two groups because we still have another four or five days before they close the registration up. So um, we may not have as many as we have now. I kind of hope not because I don't, I actually do have to fly this time. I usually don't fly when I um, go on these cruises. I, we just drive down because we leave out of the port where my um, parents live close by. But this time, my husband's not coming with us. It's just me and my sisters and my mother. And so I have to fly, which means I have to bring all this stuff. Anyway, I want to share what I came up with. I live in Louisiana now. I grew up in Florida, but we are now living in Louisiana. And so I wanted to come up with something that is a Louisiana theme. I have been making jewelry and Christmas ornament, ornaments, can't even speak, ornaments, out of old guitar strings. And I thought, you know what? I should make Christmas ornaments for each of the families. So then I thought, well, how can I make them a little Mardi Gras? So I started digging in with all my, to my stash, and I came across these old Mardi Gras beads. These beads are all faded. I was fixing to throw them away um, because they're just, I don't know. I didn't know what I was going to use them for. They were on a wreath and they were hanging on our front door and they just faded really bad. They're still in pretty good shape though. And I thought I could use these on my Christmas ornaments. So we have the green, even though it's a little faded. And I wanted a little bit more green. 
And um, when my my um, oldest son and his wife got married, their colors were pink and green. And we had a lot of that tool, the kind of netting that we used for uh, decorations. And I had some left over. So it's, this isn't coming across too well on the screen, but it is green. So I thought I could use this. Then I need to come up with purple. So started digging around and I found some garland. And it is, oh, again, it's not showing too well on the screen, but this is Mardi Gras purple. Um, on the screen, it kind of looks blue, but it's not. Trust me, it's very, very purple. So I thought, I've, I've already cut a bunch up because I'm going to be making a bunch of these ornaments. And then I needed something gold because the Mardi Gras colors are green, purple, and gold. Well, I got a bunch of old gold buttons. So I used the buttons on my guitar strings and this is what they have turned out now you'll see down here is a little mickey mouse bead uh, i ordered a bunch of these beads online mm, probably about three years ago i didn't know what i was going to do with them um, but now i'm putting them on these and this is the christmas ornaments now each one is different here's another one i did this one actually, this wire here is old telephone wire, actually from um, my dad. He was an asset engineer. And back in the late 60s, they were redoing all the telephone wire and they stripped it all the old wire out and threw it in the trash. And my dad asked if he could have it. He said, they told him he could take as much as he wanted. And ever since then, my one of my sisters and I, we've been making all kinds of jewelry and stuff out of it. but. I added it to this um, guitar string. You got the netting here, the button. Anyway, here's two of uh, the Mardi Gras decorations or you know, Christmas ornaments that I've made. Like I said, each one's different. So that's for the family. We have like anything, we have two-year-old girls, three-year-old girls, teenage girls, men, women, no teenage boys as of yet. Those will be difficult because I'm actually trying to stay away from food. If we wind up with teenage boys, I may have to resort to the food. But anyway, um, what I've come up with the dads and the young boys is an indoor um, snowball fight. And so I've made, um, I'm in the middle, this one's not done yet, but I'm just going to put together some pom-poms so they can throw them at each other and they'll have a, an indoor uh, snowball fight. And I think I'm going to put a little uh, piece of paper, a little card in there that says something like, I grew up in Florida and now I live in Louisiana and we don't get much snow. But this past year, Olaf paid us a visit at my home in Louisiana and left me some snowballs and I want to share them with you. Something like that. That's kind of corny, but I, I think it's going to be kind of fun. Uh, and you know, we did get a little bit of Olaf snow this year. Usually here in Louisiana, they don't get much snow, if any, and we got quite a bit. So anyway, I thought that was kind of fun. Something else too, uh, for the girls, I'm actually coming up with Mickey Mouse ears. I'm still working on it. Um, they'll look something similar to this. I'm going to go ahead and put the little Mickey Mouse bead with a bow on it. I'm going to use, you know, I had the green um, netting, but I've got pink netting too left over from the wedding. And I thought maybe I could just glue them on there. But I'm having a hard time with trying to get them to stay in my hair. I have very fine hair. It is uh, probably equivalent to a less than one year old baby uh, that has hair. It's very, very fine. I have a lot of it, but it's just very, as I call it, slippery. And so things don't stay in very well. They slide out. 
But I did find, actually that's standing pretty well, probably because my hair got wet today in the rain. That's why it kind of looks the way it looks. I got a little wet this, this afternoon when I was running errands. But anyway, um, I have tried different clasps. I have tried using a clasp like this, alligator clasp. That just gets tangled in my hair. So that was a no. And then I tried this type of barrette. These usually stay in my hair, but it was a no. It didn't work. So now I'm trying these. And I have them glued on this way, but I pull, I reason it's so messy. I have, um, this is like the third clip that's on here. But I think, it doesn't need to go this way. It needs to go more this way. And I've actually got a couple that I made and I gave to a friend of mine so she can give them to her kids and have them wear them, kind of like my prototype. But if for some reason my Mickey Mouse ears don't work out, plan B is I'm going to make pom-poms and they're going to be Tinkerbell little pom-poms for the shoes. But anyway, that's what I have come up with my fish extenders. And as far as what kind of a bag we're going to have, now that all four of us are doing it, I'm going to have to come up with four bags. I was looking in my fabric stash and I came across this fabric. I love that fabric. We have Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and Goofy all on surfboards. Uh, looks like Goofy uh, maybe has gotten attacked by a shark. Fortunately, he's not the one that got bit. It was his board. And they're all surfing down there. And I thought, this is going to be perfect. And I'm going to use that for the front of the bag. And then back to the wedding, we used tons of a burlap. So I have all this burlap left. So this is going to be the back. And then I have this polka dot. It's lavender fabric and it has all different kinds of little teeny weeny polka dots on it and somehow I'm going to line it but I I think this this looks really good together with the burlap so these will be our fish, fish extender bags I'm excited about this once I get it all complete I am going to show you what I have and I'll probably show you how to do them too I'll give you some instructions on what I came up with but in the meantime I'm going to sign out for now. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And this is the Tapping Flamingo. Bye.